guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an easy, quick, vegetarian weeknight favorite using spaghetti squash. This is my Mexican style stuffed spaghetti squash. I've seen a lot of different things on Pinterest and Facebook with various things using uh, squash, just a simple spaghetti squash. So I'm going to do a Mexican inspired, so let's go ahead and get started with the ingredients you need. You're going to need one cup of fresh or frozen corn. You're gonna, of course, need one spaghetti squash. Mine's got a little boo-boo on it, but it'll still work. You're gonna need that. I picked mine up from Trader Joe's. You're gonna need one medium onion diced. You will need one to two jalapenos, and my jalapenos had some red in it. It was kind of interesting. I got mine from Trader Joe's as well. And if you're not into spicy, you can always use a different style of pepper. You are going to need some oregano. Let's go on to the spices. Oregano, cumin, chili powder, and cayenne. You're going to need some crushed tortilla shells. One to two tablespoons of olive oil. And some Mexican style or just some cheddar cheese that's completely optional. You're going to need some black beans, a can of black beans. And you're going to make sure these are drained. And of course, my Himalayan sea salt and some freshly ground pepper. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 400. And we're going to remove the sticker off the spaghetti squash. And we're going to place it in a baking dish. And we're going to cook it for about 30 minutes before we cut into it to kind of soften it to make life a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. And we'll be back in a hot second. So the squash is in the oven. And like I said, I have it in there for about 30 minutes and it is at 400. So let's check back in about 30 minutes and see what we do next. All right, so I went ahead and pulled my squash out of the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it open and then I'm going to de-seed it. Okay, so I went ahead and cut it open as you can see and you can see like inside there's little seeds and fibers. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop that out and then brush it with olive oil. Okay, so there's the squash completely de-seeded, and we're going to go ahead, like I said, brush that olive oil right on that squash and make it real yummy. All right, let's just brush that on there, making sure we get all of the yellow. And spaghetti squash is just a wonderful, wonderful squash to have in the fall. So I highly recommend if they are at your local grocery store to pick up some and try and experiment with it. You don't necessarily have to do what I'm doing, but there's tons of things you can do and modify for your own flavoring and you'll be surprised. It's quite tasty. All right, we're going to go ahead and put those in the oven and bake them at 400 for another 30 to 40 minutes. I like to do about 35 and then we're going to pull them out and check on them. All right, guys, so my squash is almost done baking, and we're going to start sauteing some of our vegetables. So I took this cast iron skillet, and I put a little bit of olive oil in there. I forgot to mention that you are going to need two cloves of garlic finely chopped. So I'm going to go ahead and add that, and then I'm going to add the onion into my skillet and cook that for a few minutes until they're softened. And my onion... And this is going to be over a medium heat. Just got a few more, more in this bowl. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of oregano and one teaspoon of cumin and then I'm going to add one tablespoon of chili powder there's my chili powder and then I'm going to add about I don't want the super 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 spicy so I'm going to add one four teaspoon of the cayenne I'm kind of going through my measuring spoons right now so let me get some of this cayenne, add that in there and give it a good stir. And 
And then I'm going to season it with my salt and pepper. I'm going to add the corn, give it a good stir, and again, add, I'm going to season it with salt and pepper. I'm going to add my jalapenos and give that a good stir as well. I'm going to cook this for about two to three minutes longer, just so the peppers and the corn can get really cooked and moistened. Now I'm going to add my beans, give that a good stir, and let that cook for a little bit, for another couple of minutes. And my timer is going to go off on my squash. I'm going to pull that out of the oven when that timer goes off. Okay, so with the fork, you're going to kind of just pull at the squash. And I kind of already started that, as you can see, and finished it on both of the squashes while my bean mixture is cooking and warming. And then I'm going to fill both of these squash halves with that black bean mixture that's filled with protein. All right, I filled both boats up. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my oven um, at 350 degrees versus the 400. All right, they're in the oven in a shallow baking dish. Well, kind of shallow, deep, shallow, some type of baking dish you want to put this in. And I'm going to cook it for about 20 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. So let's check back in a few. All right, so they're all done out of the oven. I'm going to go ahead and top this with my spicy Mexican cheese and then top it with the chips. I'm going to set my oven to broil and I'm going to just cook this just until it's melted for about two to three minutes. All right, so I just pulled them out of the oven and we are ready to go. I'm going to top this off with a little salsa or you can do sour cream or guacamole, whatever you desire. And we are ready to eat it. So if you enjoyed this recipe, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to do more healthy vegetarian recipes. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me. Until next time, I'll see you guys real soon. Have a great day.